Your Holiness Pope Francis, dear colleagues, bienvenidos a las Naciones Unidas. Muchas gracias. I'll be very brief. Your Holiness, I may be the one uh, behind the microphone and in this uh, spotlight, but it is the staff of the United Nations who are working day and night with a strong commitment. I really appreciate it. And I hope you will grace them and bless them so that they can continue to work upholding the Charter of the United Nations for world peace, development, and human rights. Thank you for uh, taking the time to meet with them uh, because they are the heart and soul of our work. Regardless of faith, we draw inspiration from your humility and humanity and from your global call for action on social justice climate change, and ensuring a life of dignity for all. Let me just say, Your Holiness, thank you for your spiritual guidance and blessings and love for humanity. Thank you, gracias, merci, shukran, siese, spasiva. Thank you. you have the floor. Dear friends, good morning. <laughs> On the occasion of my visit to the United Nations, I am pleased to greet you, the men and women who are in many ways the backbone of this organization. I thank you for your welcome, and I am grateful for all that you have done to prepare for my visit. I would ask you also to offer my greetings to the members of your families and to your colleagues who could not be with us today because the lottery <laughs> the vast majority of the work done here is not of the kind that makes the new Behind the scenes, your daily efforts make possible many of the diplomatic, cultural, economic, and political initiatives of the United Nations, which are so important for meeting the hopes and expectations of the peoples who make up a human family. You are experts and experienced field workers, officials and secretaries, translators and interpreters, cleaners and cooks, maintenance and security personnel. Thank you for all you do. You're quiet and devoted work not only contributes to the betterment of the United Nations, it also has great significance for you personally, for how we work expresses our dignity 
and the kind of persons we are. Many of you have come to this city from countries the world over. As such, you are a microcosmos of the peoples which this organization represents and seeks to serve. Like so many other people worldwide, you are concerned about your children's welfare and education. You worry about the future of the planet and what kind of a world we will live for future generations. But today and every day, I would ask each of you whatever your capacity to care one another. Be close to one another. Respect one another. And so, embody among yourselves this organization's ideal of a united human family living in harmony, working not only for peace, but in peace, working not, not only for justice, but in a spirit of justice. <clears throat> Dear friends, I bless, I bless each one of you from my heart. I will pray for you and your families. And I ask each one of you, please, to remember to pray for me. And if any of you are not believer, I ask you to wish me well. God. God bless you all. Thank you.